Hello, this is Roland Jung from ePlan Canada. Today, I want to show you the smart wiring concept. So technically, we have on one side, we have the 3D design, which calculates the length. And above and beyond all this, we can now see very, very detailed uh, how the wiring has to be done. We can see here the length of the wires. It's a 120 volt CV2 goes to CV20. 1707 you can see actually how the routing is done this enables pretty much anyone to do the wiring with you you can even get some details about you know the maximum torque if you have some special torque tools everything is there it's, it's really cute now where in, in in where does that actually come from is simple it comes from the world of e-plan why do we do it well this is a whole other story i'm going to talk about but let's quickly see in ePlan how this works. So every wire like this one here has some specific details. Sometimes the color does not come directly from the uh, wire itself, but it comes from the potential it's associated to. So very quickly, you can change the color or the gauge through the potential, because depending on the countries you work in or even the projects you work in, that might be different. And behind the scene, every individual device has been placed here on a 3D and the 3D has its advantages. It now knows exactly where it could route. So theoretically, if I take one of these devices, I jump over to the device itself, I can do the exact wire length calculation, which gives me pretty uh, awesome results. Now, just this result is then pumped over here to uh, smart wiring and the smart, smart wiring electrician on his tablet can then simply confirm that yes, I'm actually installing this wire from one side to another and boom, boom. And it actually jumps then to the next wire you have to install. It's, it's a very, very cool tool. You no longer have to work with the printed schematics, which are still available for anyone that wants to see where the wire came from, but you no longer have to work with the schematics. We translate the schematics into details for the wire. Now, why do we do this? Why did we put so much efforts into it? I'm going to explain a little bit how it's probably done nowadays, right? Nowadays, when you think about it, we print a lot of documents. Engineering up front has to print the schematics. There is someone on the mechanical or somewhat electromechanical side that will evaluate where to place it in the panel, and he creates the details for the panel layout prints it out again. <clears throat> you have to go and buy those components, get them in-house. Once they are in-house, you actually assemble the panel and then the wire confection or the wiring actually really starts. And only at that point. And there's a lot of paperwork involved. Uh, nevertheless, a lot of things that have to be done manually. What we intend to do is actually to work on this on a, from, a, from a digital perspective. So no prints anymore. Everything is digitally uh, translated, and this is how it works. Number one thing that we do is we work with a tool that will take care of things like device tag numbering, wire numbering, cross-referencing, bill of materials. It can even save you not only in engineering, but it can also save you down in manufacturing. In this particular case, in the very first step, we actually print the labels. So you can deliver a little bit faster because the labels no longer have to be manually typed in into labeling. Now. Another thing is the 3D layout. There are millions of advantages why we work with the digital twin first, because it's not always obvious to make it fit. Now here we can easily make it fit. And once we have the details, we can of course proceed. One of the things that is interesting here is that we can also have manufacturers such as Rital at the RAC, Rital Application Center, drill all the holes necessary on a panel before they actually deliver it. So again, some time here that you save. Now let's focus on the last step that I talked about, the smart wiring concept. Nowadays, you have to pretty much wait until everything is assembled before you can start the wiring. Like I said, uh, the wire length is estimated based on the physical uh, positioning of each component. You have to usually wait until all components are in because you never know is connection A2 at the top or at the bottom of a given component. So the wire fabrication is only started at that particular point and can not be started earlier simply because we don't have 
the necessary information. And now we have to think about what is involved when we fabricate a wiring. Well, it's longer, it's a longer process than a lot of us think because after you've cut the wires, you have to strip both ends. You have to somewhat slip on a crimp. Now, I understand that some people, and this is a different discussion I'm not gonna take here, uh, crimping or not crimping. Anyways, if you work with uh, components like push-in components, it's certainly favorable to have crimps. In general, it is probably favorable. In some countries, it's actually a must. In some others, it's not. Anyways, you have to somewhat look at both ends and then finally put some labels on. Labels sometimes can be shrink labels. You still have to heat them up. They can be roll-up labels. Or they can be different labels. You still have to do both ends. And then the wire is somewhat ready to be landed. Now, landing the wires typically only takes one minute. Now, if you know it takes one minute to land the wires, you no longer have to calculate the length of the wires. You can pretty much estimate how much time it's going to take to strip both ends, crimp both ends, label both ends, probably in and around three minutes, right, per wire. And then you have one minute. It, it might be longer because some panels are bigger, different in size. Uh, it's not that easy to actually do it. But in general, two thirds of this process is allocated to the fabrication of the wire. One third remains for the landing, generally speaking. Now, knowing that 49% of your time of fabrication of any kind of panel is the wiring aspect, this is interesting because now rethinking it, having the length, because I showed you in ePlan, we have, remember, the possibility to actually go onto this wire, and the wire has now a very precise length, and it has a very precise routing Path, which means I now have the possibility to take this wire and prefabricate it. What does that mean? That basically means two thirds of those 49% can be started as soon as the design is done. You no longer have to wait until you receive your ducts, your rails, your components, assemble them on the panel. You can do this upfront. And there's only one minute per wire more or less one minute and a half per wire that is remaining after the assembly is done where you do the assembly even components that have not been delivered you can do the wiring because we know now where they go we know how they are connected worst case scenario you just assemble them at the very end you have for sure here a time delivery of 33 percent shorter you are saving one third in your timing so this is really interesting because now you can actually start looking into why are we using smart wiring well smart wiring calculates the length so this is a saving that you have you no longer have any extra length so no waste no extra four or five inches to hide in these cable docks it's surprising how these cable docks are actually very 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 precisely uh, not in and, and, and tight, typically. Now they open up and you have roughly <laughs> close to half the wires because no longer these four or five inches of loops are in there. Now imagine you combine this with wireprint.com. What you do is you have them prefabricate the wires, have them shipped to you. So you take away that boring task of preparing the wires. You have a quality crimp that is exceptional and the labels are actually printed onto the wire and you can't get them off. All that is remained is, or remaining for you is the landing. Again, you deliver 33% faster. So this actually increases your productivity. And this is a, a huge percentage because you increase by 50% your productivity. You can produce 18 months now uh, in just 12 months. So it's, it's enormous. Uh, to actually do consider the smart wiring concept. If you do have the volume to uh, buy the machine, just go ahead and buy the machine. The wire terminal WT here will fully automated, uh, automatically produce the wires and hand them over to you. Um, and, and this, again, will save you 33% in production time. So you deliver 33% faster or you deliver 18 months in 12 months. It's, it's amazing. 
How does this all come to, to life? Well, it's Rittel and Eplan that actually looked at how we can digitally work in this environment, engineering, sourcing, manufacturing, and operations, have you save on the engineering side and have you save on the manufacturing side at the same time? So if you want to know more about this smart wiring concept, uh, some of us call it the smart engineering and production, smart manufacturing, uh, there are different names for this. It's all the same idea. Digitally, always make sure that your do documents or your data is ready for the next person eventually even ready for the printing of the holes, printing of the wires, printing of the labels. If you like what you see and you want to know more about this, go to our ePlan websites. You can find our and your local people there. Go to our Rital uh, websites locally and we can all talk about this added value chain. This was Roland from ePlan Canada. Thanks and see you next video.